This conference will now be recorded. Okay. Uh, have you gone through the site? Uh, no, I couldn't do it because uh, uh, like uh, my in-laws uh, uncle passed away. So like we are busy in that since two yeah, days. No, yeah. No I mean like okay. today, like today morning, like since uh, three days he was in hospital. So like he was on ventilator. So like, yeah, y yesterday night they removed the uh, support. So yeah, they passed away. So was in hospital and all this thing was going on. Okay, sure. Okay. okay. But I was like doing things today, like I was going through, but yeah, I couldn't do it. Yeah, fine. Uh, let me <coughs> see my screen. I thought it's one thirty, so I was waiting for one thirty. Uh, the time? Yeah, he messaged me one thirty p.m. EST. So yeah. Oh okay okay. No problem. Okay, I'm sharing my screen. So were you able to fix the issue? What was happening with my? No no actually I haven't. But no worries I I'll I'll do that. Actually I forgot to do that. Oh, yeah, no issues. Yeah, it's weekend. I know. Ten AM. Okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah. On the <clears throat> where are we? Okay, on on page C O, and we went through the WordPress. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now we'll we'll go through the keyword research, and then we'll come back to the WordPress. Okay. 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 So why means just going there and coming back. Once we get to know what are keywords and how to get the uh, set of keywords for our digital marketing for our website or things, then we can use that uh, same keywords in the uh, website when we are building that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so now when we say uh, keywords, what are these keywords? So see, keywords are like searching anything on the website, right? Yes, yes. So anything you search in Google or any, any search engine, uh, we can call them as uh, keywords. Keywords, yeah. Okay, so like for example, but now I search mobile and anything what I search in here uh, is, is a keyword and we need to understand the keywords. For example, let's say we are starting a company or we are working for a company or a product or service, anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's say uh, we are selling a mobile phone under uh, 25,000, one mobile under 50,000, one mobile. Yeah. Okay, we, we have these two products. Now we are doing SEO or advertisement. Uh, these two things, anything will be fine. Advertisements are the sponsored and SEO is the free things. So if you are doing these things, we need to understand for what keyword we need to promote. Okay. Now we might think we might think mobile under ten thousand is one keyword, mobile under twenty thousand is one keyword. Uh, those are fine. Yeah, those are the right keyword. But we need to know how many people are searching for those keywords in a month. Okay. Yeah. Then we can have a good knowledge on uh, how much budget we need to spend if they are the paid campaigns. How much time we need to put, uh, put out, how much efforts we need to put, the time uh, of the effort which we are putting for SEO. We can understand those things. Uh, let's say mobiles under 25,000 might not be the right keyword which you people are using. Maybe people are using uh, a good camera phone under 25,000. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we need to understand that. For that, we will use a tool uh, called Google Keyword Planner. 
Google Keyword Planner is a free tool provided by Google uh, within the uh, Google Ads platform. This is, this is a Google Ad platform where we will use this platform to create the uh, sponsored advertisements. Okay, we will go through the I tool. Fun question. Yeah. So suppose uh, any website is like someone is going to like suppose I'm uh, starting my business like let's take an example for mobile only. So uh, okay, I have done each and everything. So first we I have to research like how like what keyword uh, will uh, help me to grow my website like uh, like like you said one month uh, like how many people are using the keyword so likewise this uh, website goes or like how does it work before like you know launching on the google or anywhere we need to do the research okay, okay suppose so i'm selling a mobile phone so like i will search like okay people are coming like uh 15 000, uh mobiles under fifteen thousand. so those keywords will be like uh I'll be putting like I'll be remarking in my products, right? Yes, you are remarking in the web page. Web page, yeah, web page, yeah. Yeah. Then Google will show up. Not only in the web page, the all the details of the uh, online, like on page and off page, we will use most of the time for that uh, keyword. That keyword will be used for most of the times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the on page. So like it will be like uh, for each and every feature, like people like they search like uh, uh, okay I need this mobile under the 15,000 but I need this much RAM and this much capacity and camera will, will, uh, will be like this much this much so all this research we have to do beforehand or like how does it go beforehand two things here two things one thing uh, based on keywords we will do that one thing based on phone now we can't make changes in the mobile okay. yeah uh, the same RAM, uh, the same pricing and everything will be same. We can't make any changes in that part. Now, yeah. when we write the content for that page, we might say, okay, this is just the phone. Uh, these, these, these things. We'll just write it, list out a table and RAM, 2 GB memory, 10 GB SSD, something. We'll mention those things. That's it. But when we do a keyword research, then we can understand how people are searching. Based on that, we can make changes in the phone, like the heading. Heading might be like, uh, uh, let's say, uh, some Android mobile phone or how do I say? Yeah, Galaxy A14, uh, Samsung Galaxy A14. We are saying that. But after doing the research, we can see Samsung Galaxy A14 with 4GB RAM, 128GB SSD or something else. That way we can make the changes in the web page. So now when we are making the changes, uh, we can't go beyond the content or beyond the product what we are selling and we can't do anything other than that like for example if it is 128 gb and 4 gb we can't uh, add any other things which the phone is not providing yeah and we can't add the keywords like like best mobile phone under fifteen thousand. we can't say best samsung galaxy mm -hmm, mm -hmm. some of the things which we can't do which we can't write so mostly we should be in the limit of how, what is the phone? That's it. What is the phone? We should just focus on the phone and the futures of the phone. But in that, we should implement the SEO or the digital uh, SEO part. <laughs> when we are discussing, it might be complicated when we see, but when we are, do, when we are dealing, it would be very easy. Okay. okay. So this keyword understanding and the example which we have taken for the mobile, that is a little bit uh, bad example bad example uh, for our discussion uh, let's say service based like laptop repair services okay or the mobile repair services uh, there are different kinds of keywords i might uh, look for uh, mobile service center uh, mobile service center or authorized mobile service centers two different things so some people can't use the authorized word in their website because they are not authorized some people can use that uh, on the authorized website services and if i'm not an authorized website uh, uh, mobile service uh, person i can say i'm the best mobile service in hyderabad or in india in that particular area so based on the keywords i can do whatever i want because i'm the service person 
and I can add any keyword in my service in my service page that would work fine but when it comes to brand pages they can't do that they can't say best service best Samsung service center in Hyderabad if you say best in Hyderabad what about Mumbai so there might some there might be different question as per the, from the brand point of view So these are the keywords. So we need to create Google Ads account for this. Uh, you can try to create. Sometimes it will ask for the credit card. Okay. If it is uh, if it is asking for credit card, don't create the account. I'll provide access to the account. I tried to create this, but it was asking me the business account details. Yeah, just enter your name as a as your company. I mean, in uh, mail address. You, you can share your screen and try creating the account. Okay, okay. Uh, a minute, I'll make you the presenter. You can see, right? Mm, yes, yes. Okay. Um. Uh, need to sign in or uh, I just have to go through the start I mean I can now. start now okay. yeah, anything is fine if you have account it will sign in if not it will ask for the details mm, yeah okay your website yeah this this was mm. coming okay give your website So I can give. Yeah, you can give your website. Okay, so it will not provide anything. It was scanning. Just give Avinashreddy dot in. Sorry, what? Avinashreddy dot in. Give my website. Dot in. Yeah, dot in. A V I N A S H. Yeah. N A S H. N A S H. Yeah. It will scan the side. Come on. So why that? I think it's not working. Okay, can you type Google Ads in in the in Google? Just the previous tab. Okay, start now. Yeah, click on. Uh, okay, then enter just Google.com in the in the website or Amazon something else. Here only? Yeah, here. It's, it was asking for new campaign, not not for new things. Expert help me. Uh, can you click on the Google Ads logo? This one? Yeah. No, it was not picking up. No. Okay, just uh, enter the Google.com, the uh, website, Google website. Okay, www.google.com. I 
https colon and forward slashes two forward slashes yeah now click on next yeah now instead of google just give amazon.com Just a minute. Can you tell me your email ID? Aro Robert dot Arunima. At gmail.com. Gmail.com, okay. Okay, you might get an email. Yeah. Okay, accept the invitation. Continue. Okay, to use the Google Ads, we need to have a two step verification for the email. Click on setup and uh, complete the setup. Turn on? Yes, turn on. Okay, now just go back to Google Ads. You have came to my my Google account. Uh, type Google Ads and yeah, reload it. Reload that. Okay, now click on the icon uh, on the right side. You have your icon, the email ID and icon. Yeah, yeah you have another uh, Google ad icon, 1705. Click on it. So you have access to this account. And you can use everything in, in the account. Okay. And I'll make you the admin. You can create campaigns also. But creating campaigns and usage of this account will come back for, for the campaign part. Okay. Okay, so this is the ad account. Uh, we will discuss the ad account later. On the top, you are seeing tools and settings. Close it. 
leave. On the top, you are seeing tools and settings. Uh, right side, right side top, top, even top, top, yeah, yes, tools and settings. Click on it. Under tools and settings, you'll see all these things. On the first one is planning, first option. Under the planning, you'll see keyword planner. Yeah, click on it. Got it. Okay. So this is the Google Keyword Planner, which we will use to find the keywords. There are many other tools also, like ACMrush also, uh, it, will, it will also the, provide uh, the keyword research and stuff. There are many other tools also. But most of the time we don't use Google because Google provides the details from the Google search. Okay. Yeah. So we will use Google and if you have other options, then we will go for the other tools also. We will combine the data and we will make decisions in uh, most of the cases. But mostly Google will, uh, one tool is enough for that here we have two options discover new keywords and get search volume and forecast both are same discovering new keywords uh, mostly both are same but in the search volume and forecast the additional details it will provide is the last 12 months data every month how many searches happen that data will be provided in the get search volume and for forecast in discover new keywords it will just give the average of monthly uh, volume click on discover new keywords and on the get search volume and for forecast you can upload an excel sheet here you can just enter uh, the keywords you can enter up to 10 keywords okay right now let's see mobiles under 10,000 yeah Enter. If you come down, you will say get results. Yeah, the results. Click on it. Right now, we have entered one keyword. I like that we can enter up to 10 keywords. Okay. Now, this is the dashboard. On the top, you are seeing the location. Next to the keyword search path, you are seeing the location. Yeah, India. You can change the location also to any country or any city. Even city also you can change. I can make it to India or Telangana or Hyderabad or particular state or particular city or even particular thing. I can uh, change the location. We will get the volume for that particular location only. Like if you are doing promotion only in one city, you can do the research for one city itself. Yeah. Now here on onto the right side, you are seeing the refine keywords tab. This refined keywords will tell us brand or non brand uh, bottom uh, below the dates. Yes, refined keywords tab will tell us brand or non brand the capacity. Some uh, parts it will tell us. So, like people are looking for capacity 4 GB, 5 GB, 1 to 8 GB, brand which brand they are looking. So, this type of uh, filters, this is like a filter. We can filter out if you want only uh, 4 GB or 1 to 8 GB, you can filter out only that particular keywords. We just need the general, so we don't need to worry about that now, right now. So close the refined keyword option. Okay. So now this is the keywords. So on the first one, you will see keywords you provided. Mobiles under 10,000. Okay, you can expand the bar next to the keyword by relevance you can expand that same like spreadsheet uh, where uh, next to uh, mouse over on keyword by relevance yeah you will see the bar dash the blue color line next to keyword by relevance just mouse over on it yeah, no. on the bottom no, on the keyword by re relevance, keyword by relevance, top, yeah, next to that, yeah, you are seeing the bar, blue color bar next to that, oh, this yeah, one. expand it, okay, okay, so 
the first one is keyword what we provided mobiles under 10000 below are the suggestions okay so now it was telling average monthly searches are 10000 to 100000 okay mm -hmm. this number which like if we are doing the paid campaigns if you have invested 5000 rupees or something then google might tell us the exact number okay just it was not giving the average 10000 to 100000 number if you spend around 5000 or 3000 if you are running the campaigns you will tell us 12000 people are looking for it uh, 20000 or maybe uh, 55000 people are looking for it it will, it will give that number okay mm -hmm. 10000 and three months change in the last one quarter in the last three months is there any increase or decrease in that keyword searches okay Zero. by this we help like if uh, if an iphone is getting released at that in the one month most people will search iphone uh, new iphone pricing that mm -hmm. keyword will increase in the in that particular one or two months only then it will not have any impact on the next other months so at that point of time we can use these kind of three months change whether the increase or decrease you can see in the below keywords plus 900 zero or things like that mm -hmm. and year on year change in one year in the last 12 months year on year means in the last 12 months how much change it has so minus 90 percent so in the last one year uh, maybe last one year mobiles under 10,000 have been searched by uh, 10 uh, like maybe 1 million or 10 million people now 90 percent has been reduced these days in india no i think no one is searching for 10,000 rupees mobile mm -hmm. and the competition is high high competition means you can see the top of the page bit range and uh, low range and high range like 1 rupee to 8 rupees next to competition you can see 1 rupee to 8 rupees so this high competition will be for the google advertisements Okay. High means most people are uh, doing uh, ads for these kind of keywords. Uh, even when you do SEO, there will be many people working on SEO for this particular keyword. So it will it will be tough to rank in the Google first page. Okay, there will be low, high, and medium competition. If there if there is a low co low competition uh, keyword, then it is uh, it will take only two months or one month or maybe yeah one to two months time to rank in Google. Um, in the first uh, page or second page if it is a medium competition it might take three months or four months if it is a high competition it might take six months depends on how much how well uh, we are doing the we are doing our SEO okay so that is a high competition but for uh, given by the Google based on the competition okay and the top of the page bids so you have seen the advertisement right so if yeah. you are bidding low range if you click that ad Google will charge one rupee for that with company. High range yeah. means Google will charge eight rupees. Okay, if I am bidding low one rupee, my ad will come in second page, Google second page, or if there is a high competition, Google second page. If not, it will come in the first page. So this is how it works uh, on the costing part. So now can I change uh, like oh. location just for some time? Yes, you can change. Okay. Remove India. Hmm. Uh, I need to add another keyword. Yeah, you can add another keyword also. And uh, how will it come to know it's in dollars? Oh, okay. So this account is created by me. My card and my payment details are added as an Indian account. Okay. So the currency will be in India. Okay, okay, okay. So I can't okay. do that. No problem. Just type enter and we'll see what it shows. So now change the keyword to mobile under $800. Yeah. Yeah. 
make 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 that change and add the keyboard mobile mobile number eight hundred dollars. Dollars also. Yeah, click on it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe dollar symbol or you mentioned dollar. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. Fine. Change it to ten thousand. We'll have the keys. Okay, now in keywords there are two things: short tail keyword and long tail keyword. Mm -hmm. okay. What is short tail keyword? Short tail keyword means just uh, uh, having one or two words. Yeah. Okay. If you have one or two words, then it, we can call it as a short tail keyword. Like mobile under ten thousand, it 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 can also be short tail keyword, uh, and it will have higher competition. Long tail keywords means if you have more detailed uh, inputs, like uh, what are the best phones under ten thousand. So it's a question, and it's a, in in more detail view, and it's a long tail keyword. So because we do have more than three uh, words in it, like what is the best mobile under ten thousand. So it's a question. So it's a long tail keyword where people are looking for. The long tail keywords have low competition and it will rank uh, very fast. These questions will rank very fast. Short tail keywords like mobiles under ten thousand are very tough to rank because these have the these are very short and most people will use these words. Okay, mobiles under ten thousand is a general term uh, which will uh, which the where this keyword will come to everyone's mind and everyone will put this keyword in Google. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So this is the short tail keyword and that is the long tail keyword which is having more than three words is the long tail keyword having below. Three or below three words has we can consider that as a short tail keyword. Now, as it is a product, we are going with the pricing. Okay. Yeah. What if it is a service? Now, if it is a service, we need to search like uh, like Samsung service center near me or Samsung service center in New Jersey. So we can mm -hmm. we type that kind of keywords. We look that kind of keywords. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, how do we pick keywords? Like we are seeing that, right? Mobiles under ten thousand is ten thousand to hundred thousand uh, average monthly searches, and uh, you can see best phone under ten thousand, hundred thousand to one million searches. Okay, the competition is same. Uh, it, it has a higher competition for both the keywords. So now, in in between these two uh, keywords, we can uh, pick the best phone under ten thousand. Okay. Because the same effort what you are putting uh, for mobile under ten thousand, if you put the same effort to best phone under ten thousand, it will get hundred thousand users minimum. But the first keyword will get only ten thousand users minimum. Yeah. Okay. So this way we need to pick our keywords. Okay. Now just uh, click on the check box for the best phone under ten thousand. Yeah. Uh, Click on the below phone also, mobile phone under ten thousand. We'll we'll pick uh, some different keywords. Come down. Yeah, there are many uh, keywords. Let's select some keywords like uh, smartphone under ten thousand. Okay. Now on the top on the blue bar you are seeing plan and new ad group. Click on new ad group. Okay. Now name it as uh, 10,000 or yeah 10,000 or something. Create. Add keywords. Click on the add keywords in the blue bar button. Yeah. Okay. Now we have added that. Like we have just grouped the uh, keywords which are related to 10,000, which are related to pricing. Okay. Now go to the uh, search bar and search uh, smartphones, cheap smartphones. 
uh, what uh, cheap smartphones c h e a p okay enter and smartphones with low price get results yeah get results okay so now on the top go to top uh, but for the keywords in the keyword section in the keyword section come down come down scroll to the top now just scroll top there are lots of just uh, no, no no go to the top you are going down just uh, yeah so here we can see these things mobiles under 10,000 best smartphones smartphone cheap smartphone we didn't get that keyword uh, mostly these two keywords have the same pricing mm -hmm. okay now you can pick this keyword also best smartphone select it here yeah. no not 10,000 one uh, the second one from the top this one yeah select this uh, come down okay you have uh, everything was mentioned with 10,000 so go to top and remove the first keyword from the search bar yeah get results after removing it yeah now we are seeing we are seeing these kind of keywords cheap smartphone best cheap smartphone so cheap smartphone has 10,000 to 100,000 best cheap smartphone have only 100 to 1000 select select that one also this one right yeah budget smartphone select that low price smartphone used phones we are not selling used phone so we don't need used phones below used phones uh, we have low budget smartphone yeah affordable smartphone now on the top click on the 10000 blue bar on the, on, on the blue bar Click create ad group. Uh, mention it as low price. Click create. Okay. Yeah. Now add keywords to the low price. So now what we have done is we have created two groups. Like right now we are selling a mobile phone under ten thousand and we have we are doing a keyword research we have split uh, the keywords into two groups one is with the pricing people who are looking exactly for 10,000 rupees or below 10,000 rupees mobile we have, we have chosen that group as a 10,000 and the second group is people who are looking for uh, budget phones or cheap phones or low price uh, low cost phones okay we don't know about the, what do what do they mean by low cost Low cost means for someone 20,000 might be low cost or for someone 5,000 might be low cost. If a person is expecting a good camera quality with a low price, then they are expecting it might be 20,000 or 25,000. We don't know what is their cost for cheap or uh, low budget. But as they are searching, we need to consider it would be around 10,000 or below, like the basic starting smartphone pricing. Yeah. Okay. So we have grouped them into two different sections, two different groups, cheap and the 10,000. So based on it, we'll, we can do the SEO or anything, any planning. Okay. Right now, if you're selling only 10,000 rupees mobile, then we need to use only the group 10,000 rupees. But if you're selling two, three mobile, like a mobile has 7,000 rupees, a model has 7,000, a model has 9,000 and one model has 10,000. Okay. So we have, we do have three variants within the mobile. Then we can use the second uh, group also, like the cheap mobile uh, phones, best affordable smartphones. Okay, so these kind of keywords also we can try to implement for the SEO purpose. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, this is the keyword research. The second thing, is long tail keywords. Okay, now go to the search bar and type uh, uh, long tail keyword. How do I search for? Uh, remove these keywords 
Smartphone with low price can also be considered as a long tail keyword. Uh, other than that, let's say, what are the futures I can get uh, under $10? I can get in 10,000 rupees mobile or under 10,000, yeah, anything will be fine. Under 10,000 mobile, 10,000 rupees mobile, yeah. Get results. So for these kind of keywords, uh, we will not get the monthly searches. So most of the times, because we are giving Google will look into the specific word and it will show the result. So it, it, we might not get the exact results for that. But go to Google, copy the same thing and go to Google and uh, paste it. What are the futures I can get? Yeah. And just click on it, it will show. Yeah, copy. Okay, now when you type what are the futures I can get in 10,000 rupees mobile, you are seeing some results like the economic times and some other websites you will get. So where they have written these kind of, uh, see, you can see the Times of India has written the title as best phones under 10,000. Mm -hmm. Okay, economic times has written top 10 selling uh, phones under 10,000. So these are the same keywords, best phone under 10,000 and um, what can I get, uh, the, how many futures I can get under 10,000. Okay. So these keywords are called long tail keywords. Yeah. On the top, you can see the suggestions also. Uh, about Times of India, you can see which mobile camera quality is best under 10,000. Yeah, these are the, all these are the long tail keywords. Uh, okay. So these long tail keywords, the importance is like, whenever you, whenever, as of now we are looking under 10,000 rupees mobile, it was clear. Uh, the word itself explains us what a user is looking for. But let's not think about mobile, but let's think about, uh, uh, let's say a product or something like, for example, a motor. Okay, I want to buy a motor. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't know why I want to buy a motor. For my home or for the uh, farming purpose, for industrial purpose, what is the purpose of uh, what I want to buy? I don't know uh, 1 HP motor or 2 HP motor or anything. Okay. So I don't have no clue uh, on what I'm buying. So if I search for uh, motors or things like that, I have no clue for that. And at the same time, the services also. For example, digital marketing. Let's say digital marketing. If I'm looking for digital marketing in Google, and if I go and type a short tail keyword, like digital marketing with two words. If I'm searching digital marketing, what why the user is looking for digital marketing is he looking for a definition or is he looking for um, to learn digital marketing or is he looking to get a service from a digital marketing agency we will have no clue on what user wants with the short term keyword mm -hmm. some short -term keywords not all like let's say mobiles under 10,000 it was clear here he is looking for a mobile under 10,000 rupees that is clear if I search mobile phone then I don't know like the user don't have idea on what he's looking for mobile phone mean what does it mean okay maybe a definition or what we don't know that kind of things yeah. so when we're picking keywords we need to be careful on what keywords it is what does it mean okay uh, if it is a digital marketing if I, if if i go and uh, pick a keyword like digital marketing training then it would be clear the person is looking for a digital marketing training and we can pick the location for the paid campaign or something like that then it would work for SEO also uh, based on our website presence it will show up for digital marketing training that's a good thing and it's a short keyword now let's make it a long tail keyword digital marketing training in Hyderabad or in New Jersey so that is very clear like a person is looking for a digital marketing training in particular location Okay. Yeah. Now, if you have your own agency in New, in New Jersey uh, or uh, in Hyderabad, and if a person is looking for that particular uh, training, digital marketing training in Hyderabad in any particular location, then at that, but for that keyword, my uh, website should definitely come up for that uh, 
keyword so that I can give the training in Hyderabad or in AJC based on my institute location. Yeah. Okay. So that that kind of keywords like, like long tail keywords will help us uh, get the right users and uh, conversions will be high. Okay. If I am targeting digital marketing, as I am providing a digital marketing service, if I am targeting the main keyword like digital marketing, I want all the people who are looking uh, for digital marketing should come to my website. Then it will not work. It might take a months and months of time. Maybe sometimes it might take years also. And then after that what they want to know we don't know and they might come to the website and they might leave the website so it will increase the bounce rate bounce rate in the sense they will they are not engaging with the website that means they don't like the content google will consider that they don't like this website content so they left the website and they are going to other website so our rankings will be down so but if we make it clear if we understand what is our, what our service is if we understand what the product is then we can target the best keyword then we can do the best keyword research and we can pick the best keywords and optimize the same in the website so the people will be looking exactly digital marketing training in Hyderabad and our website will come up uh, they'll go to the website they'll see the pricing and what are the options in the digital marketing if they like they'll do something like give their email ID or give their phone number or they'll click on call us button and they'll make a call or even if the website has the chat, chat option he might chat with the person to get to know about the details and timings of any kind of information so that is that is a conversion okay so when we are picking keywords uh, i don't i don't say don't pick this kind don't pick that kind based on the business requirement based on the client or based on the person who is dealing with that business based on their requirement and based on their strategy they can pick the keywords okay like based on their uh, keywords and service in the sense uh, as digital marketing training if it is an institute i do only provide trainings but not services let's let's assume that so if a person is looking for digital marketing services in hyderabad then that keyword is not right for my institute for my website so i should avoid that kind of keywords okay. but if i'm providing both the trainings and services then everything works for me okay okay so we need to first thing we need to understand what the client what is the business and then what the client wants what the user is looking for based on that we need to decide what are the keywords and based on that we need to do the keyword research and when we are doing the keyword research uh, we can group them sometimes i might say i have agency and i have institute uh, i do provide the service i do provide the training also but i'll say I don't need anything for services. I need for training right now. Services is the least priority. Training is the highest priority. If I might say, you can do the keyword research. But while doing the keyword research, if you if you find out that uh, for training there are less searches and for services there are more searches, you can group them in the Google Keyword Planner with the groups. For training one group and for uh, services one group. Based on that, you can uh, show that to client based on that you can take decisions on which uh, group you need to work on for services if you work on if you can spend three months of time you might get 10,000 visitors to the website that will lead to good business or if you work on training in three months most of the people might not visit and that might uh, not give us good business so you can discuss that kind of things and finally we can make a decision using the keyword research okay okay now to understand it clearly we need to pick one service and do it exactly and do a plan mm -hmm. okay so here we can pick two things one is a product base like mobiles and things like that one is service base like digital marketing training or digital marketing services mm -hmm. okay so if you pick that and if you do keyword research for two things services and product then we will be clear on how to do it and we can understand it in a better way yeah okay so if you have time look into that if not tomorrow in our class we'll do the keyword research and we'll decide we'll download the spreadsheet now you have added it to the groups we can download that and finally we can decide on what keywords we need to do that and we can give the priority also high medium low and finally we can decide on the final keyword list and then we can start working on that keywords okay 
okay if you have time just look into that if not uh, i understand that uh, i might not have time so in tomorrow's class we can do the complete with a proper uh, uh, business we can do the keyword research and then okay. we can finalize the keywords okay okay yeah okay yeah okay yeah uh, thank you everyone. yeah thank you bye